Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a new team and then add multiple channels to those teams. So in order to create a new team, simply you have to go to the teams section here. Okay, click on the teams icon and you will see that this was the default team that was available. Now in order to create a team or join a team, you can either join a team by the code or by the invitation or you can create a team, right? So you have this option here in the left hand side. So if I click on that, you will see that we have the option to create a team or join the team with a code, right? So what this code is if we go to the existing team say for example as I have shown this if you go to the manage team and there is a option to generate the code right the team code so here we can generate the team code say for example I generate it and then if we share this particular team code then people will be able to join with this particular team code and you have to remember that guest won't be able to join with the team code okay so we can simply go ahead and join with this particular team code if you want to join but in order to create a new team we have a different option so let me remove this okay and now let's go ahead and create a team so simply to create a team we'll click on create team and then you will see different options to create a team we can create a team from scratch from a group or team right so create a team from a microsoft 365 group um, that you own you can create a team from there or you can simply coordinate your project manager project or manager you want right so different options so onboarding employees organizing the help desk or incident response different templates are available for different options for example healthcare manufacturing volunteers etc so you can pick any of these you know templates to create a specific team or we can go ahead and create from the scratch but if you see that most common will be managing a project right so we can simply click on manage project and it will create a team from there but if you go ahead and click on the scratch you will see that we have the option for private public and org wide okay so if we say private then people will need permission to join it okay if you have public then anyone in your organization can join that particular team but if it is organization wide everyone in your organization automatically joins right so let's make it public and then we'll simply say Sprinter. Say for example, this is the team that is developing the e-commerce app. The name of that team is Printers. We'll simply name that as Printers and team developing e-commerce app. And then simply click on create. And now the Sprinters team will get created. And once the team has been created, you will see that you can add the members, right? So say, for example, there are different members in your organization that are working as part of this e-commerce app. You can start typing in the name of those persons or group uh, and then you can add those persons. So at the moment, I have just one person here that I have added. I can simply start typing in. And if there are multiple users you simply start typing in the users and keep selecting those that you want to add to this particular team right so we have added these users click on add and these users will be added into the team that we have created with the name of sprinters okay now we simply click on close here okay and then you will see that the sprinters team has been created and general channel will by default be there which is more of having or for communication with everyone if there is a chat that is happening or there's an announcement that need to be made to everyone then you put that chat into into the general but this is how you are going to create the team in microsoft teams now within this team there is a general channel already if i want to create different channels i'll simply click on the ellipses here at the team level and then click on add channel so let's quickly go ahead and create a development channel okay you can give any name right so we i'm just giving channel but you can say development um, squad or something okay whatever you wish which makes more sense and then select the privacy accordingly as per your need and then as per your need automatically show this channel to everyone's channel list you simply choose it click on add and that channel will be added here okay let's add one more channel which i'll say bas and then i'll add 
Okay, so now you'll see that this particular sprinter's name has different channels available here. General, BAs, Development, Testing Squad, right? So these channels, if you go ahead and say, for example, we go to this channel, right? And then go to Manage Channel, you will see different option that we have already seen previously, right? Uh, for a specific channel. Now, if you go to the team level here, okay, and click on Manage Team, you will see the members and guests that are available in this particular team. Right, so this is the owner who has created this particular team and the guests that are part of this particular team. Right, so that is all listed here. If you want to add more members, you can simply click on this add member and add new members or more members in this particular team. Okay, now the next thing I want to show here is that if we go to these channels, right, if we simply go to these, this icon, little icon here, you will see that two guests, right? And then similarly for development squad, you will get the people who have access right to guests and for the testing squad as well now this is because when we created these channels right so if we go ahead and click on add channel you will see say for example here i'll say product owners okay and then everyone on team has access so whosoever in the team will be having or member of this team will be by default added to this particular channel and the purpose of the channel is to limit the conversation within that particular specific role member right so that's basically how you will be using it so if we go ahead and choose this privacy to specific teammates have access okay or people you choose from your org or other orgs to have access okay so simply choose that according and then if you don't want to share this channel with everyone on the team you simply uncheck that okay and in that case say for example let me make it private specific teammates have access and create this particular channel so this channel everyone in the team won't be having the access so here we have to add the members to this channel say for example I just want to add a particular only one guest here okay and then simply click on done so as of now only one person is there right so you'll see this private icon here and then if you see here only one guest is there in this particular case so if we start this conversation right then only the members that are part of this particular group okay will be basically having access to this particular uh, channel okay but here in this case because we have made this for everyone so all of the guests that are part of this particular team or all the members that are part of this printers will be having access to this particular channel now the next thing in the channel is that you can customize for example if you go to this particular channel right so we have these different tabs for example all the posts will be available here in the post section right and then all the files that are being shared say for example in this particular channel right yeah, as the po's there are some files that are being shared in this particular channel will be available here and then if you go to this plus sign here you can add more tabs as well based on say for example you want to have more apps right for example you want to have the wiki or whiteboard available right or excel needs to be there so simply click on that particular app there and then it will configure and then you will see that you you have the option post to the channel about this particular tab that this tab has been added we'll simply save it and then this whiteboard tab will be created for that particular channel and you will see that now the whiteboard has been configured okay and we can simply go ahead and start you know creating say for example some of the notes okay right and then write something on the note right and then this will be basically so everyone in this particular whiteboard or who is part of this po will be having visibility of this particular app that is here right so similar to post will have the access to the whiteboard and in the post you will see that because we have selected that everyone needs to be notified so it will notify that i have added a top tab at the top of the channel which is the whiteboard and that is available here similarly if you want to play around and add more tabs here as per the requirement you can add there as well and this is very good one basically say so for example team wants to work together on the whiteboard you can simply add that app and it will be available for the whole team there right so you can see that it's available there and now if say for example i am part of this particular uh, i have invited one more member uh, as part of this particular board right so i'll go on the 
mobile app okay wherein i have the access and i'll try to do some of the changes there okay so let me go ahead and go to the whiteboard okay so uh, the access to the whiteboard is restricted for guests so that's why i can't do anything from this account that is uh, in the guest but in the next tutorial i'll try to add some new user the extra users in this particular instance so we can see how the people will work collaboratively and different apps will explore and we'll explore a lot more apps and productivity tips as part of this whole tutorial series and what all you can do within the teams right so this is basically uh, all about these details here and how to add the teams how to add a different channels customize the channel add a different new apps in the channel and work together as a team collaboration so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching